Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. Do us a favor if you find anything in this video useful. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so uh, this will be a, honestly a relatively simple and easy video. Um, we're going to show you the different power supply options, and we're going to show you how to actually install one, which is very easy since they're hot swap. Uh, the different options that you have, you can get as low as a 495 watt, a 750 watt, or a 1100 watt. Uh, depends on what you want. Um, we generally build with 750 watts. Uh, that's kind of our go-to. Uh, some people want um, you know less power as a whole, so they'll just uh, pop in a 495 watt. And some people want extra power for what they're doing. So it just depends again on what you're looking for. Uh, one thing I did want to note: um, you do need to be careful with the power supplies, depending on what connection your data center has. Some of the power supplies are 110 volt, and some of them are 220. So depending on what your connection is, just make sure that you order the right um, power supplies for your system. So uh, that's just a, a good thing to note. We're generally putting in 110 volt uh, unless someone tells us differently and tells us that they do want the 220 volts, which some people do. Uh, again, it just depends on what your connection is and what you're looking for. Okay. Uh, so now I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to uh, install them and we'll actually physically show you um, a quick just uh, snapshot here of the different options and we'll show you how to actually install them. Let's get going. All right, so here's just a quick snapshot. I wanted to show you the um, uh, different power supplies here. So as we talked about, 495, 750, 1100, they're all the exact same. So they all just pop in and out. We'll show you how to do that. One thing I did want to note, uh, since we're actually about to uh, do this server right now and we're going to put uh, the 1100 watt in, do make sure that both of your power supplies are the same wattage. You definitely don't want to put in two different ones because uh, you can accidentally you know, blow one and you don't want to do that. So uh, just make sure that they are matching. So that's one key that I would note. So now we'll go ahead and show you how to install it. Okay, so now we're going to do the installation process. And again, this will be super easy because this is a hot swap. Uh, so again, match them up. So this is an 1100 watt going with an 1100 watt. You're just going to slide this in. And it will, you'll see this right here, will click into place. So now you know it's fully inserted. If you don't see that kind of pop in and out, then it's not fully inserted. Same way that you would want to remove it is you would push this in and pull this out. Okay. So again, I'll redo that for you. Slide this in. You'll see this click in. And if you want to pull it out, you're just going to hook your finger in here and then pull this out. Okay. So it's just that easy. Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you're looking for uh, any power supply upgrades yourself, uh, we can overnight them. Uh, please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. And if you're looking for uh, an R530 build, uh, we'd love to custom build a server for you and earn your business. Uh, please contact our sales team. And if you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, guys.